Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about painting this 2008 Crown Vic. I bought this car from Salvage Auction. I'll link uh, the video series up above here. You can go check it out. I won't go through the whole thing again, but now that it's time to legitimately paint this car, uh, which the first shot I basically tried to rattle can this car with a Duplicolor color match, which was sponsored by Summit Racing. Again, huge thank you to Summit Racing. Those videos didn't do really well, so at this point, I'll continue to shout them out because of how great they were to me and supported the channel, uh, but I'm not reaching out to them uh, until I can actually come through with what I feel is a legitimate uh, delivery on a sponsorship. I don't think I did a great job producing the eyeballs uh, with the last videos. You know, I'm trying to uh, be respectful to the brands that support my channel. Uh, I'm, I'm not blind to uh, the bigger picture. So I am here holding a quote from Mako. That's right, Mako. They quoted me uh, $1,809.85 to keep the color the same, or $2,509.85 to do a color change on this car. I looked at these numbers, uh, $1,800, now what that covers is a base coat clear coat. I would not do a single stage. In my opinion, a base coat clear coat is the right way to go with any car. So $1,809 would have involved sanding down the hood, getting rid of the terrible paint job that I had done, the bumper and the quarter panel, and then reshooting the entire car. So am I taking this car to Mako for the $1,800? The answer to that is no, I am not. Yes, that is right. I am going to be painting this car myself. Okay, so as I am editing this video, I realize I do not do a great job of explaining why it is I am actually doing this the way that I am. Most people, including probably you watching this video, would say, take your car to Mako for 1800 bucks, it's a steal. But the way that my brain works is that if I can amass some tools and do it myself, learn some things in the process and do a good job, well then I just uh, you know, did nothing but help myself obtain some tools and things like that. So I tend to approach these projects from a, a, just a, a different mindset. In my opinion, I think it'll be kind of an interesting journey to share with my YouTube viewers. I've never painted a car before. I'm basically just buying all of the things to do it and I'm gonna document my journey and I'm going to wait and update you guys on the total budget and cost of all this until I'm done. If I shared with you where I was at today after buying all of this stuff, it may not be the complete picture. So I'm definitely going to do a what this cost at the end of this series. Uh, it'll be over the next few weeks that you will see these videos roll out. Uh, I'm just going to have at it here on YouTube. And if it works out, then I guess I was right. If it doesn't, then you guys can laugh. It's either way, uh, all in good fun. And that's what I'm here for. So with that being said, go ahead and jump right back into the video. None of this stuff is sponsored, but I'm going to take you guys through and show you how I intend on doing this project. This 60 gallon DeWalt, uh, three and a half horsepower compressor. I actually picked up from tractor supply for five and a quarter, somewhere in that range. Uh, this thing is it's a beast. Maybe not the quietest of compressors, but for what I need, uh, this will do uh, just fine. And uh, I did plumb this up here with the copper lines. This is three quarter inch uh, with a flex hose to isolate the vibrations from the, uh, from the wall. And uh, three quarter inch all the way up around to this drop here, which you have a uh, relief valve drain down low. Uh, also, there is one back here as well. Uh, so two drains here at three quarter inch, then it cuts to half inch, comes over to a water separator, which is a basic water separator. The regulator comes up here, up into the DeWalt uh, 50 foot uh, hose reel. And I can also then run uh, this T here, goes half inch with a shutoff over to what I'm calling this second stage. Uh, this is the DeVilbis. Cam Air QC3 air filter and dryer, which is basically what I'm calling a second stage 
filtering for painting. And now I'm gonna run you through everything else that I bought uh, to take on this project. Uh, and I'll just go ahead and unbox everything that I have here, which I picked up from Eastwood. Again, not sponsored. This is all stuff that I, I purchased. Full price, went to Eastwood, and uh, let me go ahead and run you guys through uh, what it is I have here. So the first thing that I got, which I already cheated and opened up the box, but I got these uh, DeVilbis uh, starting line uh, paint guns, both HVLP. One is the finish coat and then one is the primer. Uh, I have no idea how to use these things, so it should be interesting. Stay tuned for this. The reason why that came out was because this box was for the uh, air filters, which obviously I already plumbed that all up before this video. So it was a little bit of cheating. I may have opened these boxes already, but for what it's worth, this is a Paw Patrol painting that my daughter uh, hid inside the box. So let's see what we have in here. The DeVilbis Decones. So this, I believe, <laughs> I actually forgot what I even ordered here. So these are the paint strainers uh, used for uh, loading up the guns here. Nothing flashy, but certainly something that you should use for the uh, paint guns. So the 2K urethane primer surface, this is the activator. A cleaner for the guns. Some inline air filters also for the paint guns. And then a slew of sandpaper. I have 180, 120, 220, 320, 400. Bunch of sandpaper, I'm going to need all of it, I'm sure, for, uh, for prep work. A little tip that I'm not sure if it's supposed to be in the box. Some paperwork. Some mixing cups, just a, a whole kit. There's a bunch of different mixing cups in here. Some filters, some stir sticks. Two K urethane primer surfacer. Let's see what else we have in here. This is the four to one show clear. So two gallons of clear, which should cover the whole car. And here you have the four to one premium show activators. So that is all of the painting supplies that I have for this project. Now you're gonna say, where's the color? Well, Eastwood doesn't offer a color match, so I, there's actually a local paint shop here, uh, which I'll film that as a separate video, but uh, there's a local paint shop here that I can get the custom matched uh, OEM color, which I'm gonna stay OEM. Actually, it's kind of grown on me a little bit. So that is all of my painting supplies. It's a lot, there's a lot to, to learn here. Um, I'm sure I'm in for uh, quite the experience. So guys, with that being said, uh, I just wanted to take you guys through what I have here, prepped, kind of ready for some paint. Drop some information in the comments down below if you know anything about painting, because I know nothing. And uh, I just think that I'll be able to do a much better job with the right stuff as opposed to rattle cans and the uh, really bad uh, paint job that I turned out with because of that. So um, this is my best Sam Crack car restoration attempt that I can possibly do and uh, in the safest way at, right here in my garage. and. Uh, We'll see kind of how this turns out. So certainly stay tuned. Uh, I will certainly document and film this entire experience because I am sure I will learn a lot more as I did the first time. And uh, again, any information you guys might have, drop in the comments down below. I look forward to, uh, to seeing where this project goes. So again, thank you guys very much for tuning in. 
If this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. I'll see you guys next time. See how this goes, I guess.